Notice. New at 11 tonight, I did receive some new updates on the fire's behavior and where crews are directing their resources. Now, what you can do right here is have a look at the map, and you can see the fire is developing a finger on its southeast side. We're going to zoom right in for you right there. It's heading in the direction of Canyon View, just to the bottom of your screen right there, exactly where those evacuation orders were put into place tonight. That area is where I flew over with our chief photographer last night, and we saw one-way controlled traffic on Highway 36, which is now completely closed. Fire crews are working to stop flames from crossing the highway and pushing further to the east. Okay, let's move up now, and this is the fire's northwest side. And CAL FIRE says that they're worried that flames could spread northwest right towards Highway 44, and the chief has mapped it out for you right there. That's only a two-mile gap right there. Dozers have dug lines to stop flames, but the vegetation continues to fuel the spread. And we should point out for you right there, we reported that Camp Latiez, one of 50 structures destroyed, that little white ball right there is indicative of where the camp once stood ground. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office will not open Highway 44 until the risk of fire spreading is minimalized. And now what to expect for tomorrow. CAL FIRE will continue suppression efforts to stop flames from crossing 44 to the north and northwest as well as Highway 36 to the south and southeast. We should tell you too, we told you last night the percentage of new fire starting was 94%. It's dropped, but this is still rather bad. It's now 80%. As again mentioned, nothing to cheer about. The percentage though, however, does reduce from 25 to 30 percent at night, which is more encouraging, but just indicative of the fact that we are in high fire season at the moment. Now let's get to some good news. The wind has kept calm and a red flag warning has expired. The chief has all the details on tomorrow's forecast. First alert, Chief Meralgist Mike Kruger joining us now with a look at our first alert forecast. Hey, Mike. You know, we did see those winds begin to die down, and right now, many late locations across the north are looking at calm winds right now. Of course, the good news for the firefighters, there you can see the calm winds out at the Reading Airport and relative humidity about 40%. A little bit stronger out in Red Bluff, west and northwest at about 7 miles per hour, and Chico looking at winds from the east at approximately 3 miles per hour. Now, here's a look at the visible satellite just before sunset. You can clearly see those upper-level winds are blowing from southwest to the north and east, and it looks like that is going to be the case here for the rest of the night tonight. As as mentioned, though, those winds start to calm down. That smoke will start to kind of settle back down in many locations. But there you can see the upper level winds. This is at 10 o'clock. Now watch what happens as we go next 24 hours. And by the way, I put the fire there where some of the main, the biggest fires are. So you can see the direction that the smoke will blow in, in conjunction with those fires. So there you can see Wednesday at 4 o'clock. This is tomorrow. You notice the winds are going to shift more from west to east. And that is significant for some people. Places like Redding most likely won't see as much smoke tomorrow because there aren't any uh, spires to the west, direct west of Redding. And you'll notice there, it looks like Red Bluff Chico probably looking at some uh, smoke from the past fire there. And it looks like even uh, Bernie might see some smoke as well. So uh, just a little change in the direction of those winds uh, will have a major impact as to whether or not you will see the hazy or smoky skies. Bottom line, we'll just continue to see the smoky skies off and on for the rest of the work week more.